Hello everyone, I'm Senor Mokolever and thank you for joining me here in the Argentine League as we shall begin to hopefully in this episode push into rightful Argentinian clay. So, last time we established ourselves of course as the Argentine League and in the end of this campaign, hopefully maybe the end of today, we might realize Platian ambition. That would be a very, very cool, which means we need to take out Uruguay and as well as Paraguay. But, um, we're trying to get another research slot for now. But, I do want to go to war with either Paraguay or Uruguay as fast as possible. But, I need at least 100,000 manpower in the field, and I only have like 54,000. But, before I do anything else, we have quite a bit of army XP that I can use. And I'm going to throw on, perhaps... A little bit of artillery. That'd be good. Uh, we'll do the same thing down here too, because this is a pretty weak division. Give them a little bit more attack. Now, artillery stockpiles. Not too bad. Not too bad. Even though our infantry equipment, we need quite a bit of it. Let's see. One factory, one factory, one factory. Uh, planes. I love planes a lot, but I really need more guns. That's probably a mistake to do that, but whatever. Oh well. Put you near the bottom, put you there probably. I want to continue to make artillery, so we can make some 7-2 infantry divisions. Uh, but yeah, I definitely, definitely, definitely need more guns, because we can't make any divisions if we have no guns. So, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, you guys. We're still training some of our ships, which is good. We're soon to have another research slot. I might manually justify on Paraguay. Ooh, technological initiative. Very good. Need nine more, so we need 45 political power. That's fine. It's 1937. We got some time. Synthetic refineries. Uh, I, would I be able to even use those? Ooh, plain stuff. I heard strategic destruction in the current meta is probably the best. But I don't ever use strategic bombers. You know what? You know what? Escort efficiency, um, bomber defense, air superiority, strategic bombing. I always use one of these two. Let's go with strategic destruction and get more fighter detection, because screw it, why not? Next, we shall do military factories, because we need more military factories. Our military production is really low. It would be wise to ready our industry for war, and yes, it would be very much. Oh, right. Um, so, we are fascist, which is good. Collectivist ethos, that's good. We have radio. Ah, oh, let's get some radar stations, that'd be fine. I'm still trying to build up some civilian factors here, just because I think it's probably for the best for now. In time, we'll switch it over to some other production. I might not keep these three in Chaco, with, you know, three civilian factories that we want to build. We'll see what happens. Definitely, definitely, definitely see what happens. Ah, a 1936 cruiser hull. We might be able to start making some of those bad boys with some improved airplane catapults. I don't mind making these if they're not too bad. This is a heavy cruiser, though. Oh, this is level 1 stuff. Oh, we don't even have level 2 stuff out of that. Oh, my goodness. That's not bad, then. Uh, oh no. Um, definitely not medium. Let's put those on for now. Torpedoes. Uh, we have torpedo threes. Get some. I'm not gonna put that on yet. We're researching the next one. Put some anti-air on here. That'll be okay for now. I'm not gonna make it until we get at least that air catapult since we're currently researching it. Oh. Yeah, it takes quite a while to do that. And, of course, they are guaranteed by the U.S., but the U.S. might not get involved. Maybe, maybe not. The U.S. is having a time under FDR. They're fairly stable. They really don't want to go to war. And you know, they're fairly strong. So if the U.S., you know, guarantees or actually gets involved in the war against me when I want to go to war with Paraguay, that probably won't be very good for us. But we'll see what happens. I don't know. Let's see, here we need more, of course, more guns. Just guns. Not enough equipment to train. Yeah, and I'm going to continue building up more and more artillery, because that's going to be important. So, I could 
Eventually we'll go to early mobilization. We'll wait on that. We got delay done. That's good. More organization. Mobile defense for even more defense. I love it. Uh, national character. Balanced approach. Stability is nice. Stability is very, very nice. Really limited rights. Yeah. Talked about that last time. Cultural norms. Hierarchy. Revolutionary minds. Greater good. Eh. Ideological struggle. That actually is pretty good to do. If I want to go to war as fast as possible. Hmm. Militarism. I love militarism. If I could, I might just go with improved worker conditions just to get a little bit more stability in the sh long run. Short run, we lose a little bit of political power, consumer goods, but, you know, whatever. Oh, nice. We just built another one. Good. Hmm. That's good. We could use more military factories, but really... We're already getting, getting two more, which is okay. It's better than one. Definitely better than one. But definitely want to take out Uruguay. Uruguay. Oh, improved airplane catapult. Very nice. Anything else I need to throw on? Yes, I do. Medium, light medium battery or medium battery modules. That's the one I want. Good. And military factories. Very nice. Next up, Pioneers, Nuclear Committee. Uh, just for now, because we need to get more divisions out. I don't mind producing more military factories, actually. So, military factories, too. Our military production is really low. It would be wise to ready our industry for war. Even though I would love more civilian construction speed. I do want to go to war as fast as possible. Well, I guess, kind of not really. Just because I could have probably gone to war sooner, perhaps. But no, I had to go to fascist first, so whatever. Whatever. I'm talking to myself. A little, little odd. Oh, then we want to do... Oops. Improve working conditions for more stability. Oh, we lost two civilian factories over here. Whatever. You know, things happen. Very cool. <clears throat> oh, good, good, good. And this is going pretty well with actually building more divisions. What would help potentially even more is if I traded off this infantry... For an artillery piece. We lose a little bit of defense, recovery rate, supply use, less suppression, less organization in HP, but we do get 17 more soft attack. So, it's not bad. And I was going to do it anyways. Now, that does lower the amount of manpower that we currently have in the field. But this does give those guns to divisions that are currently training. So, I'm actually okay with that. There you go. Now we have 62,000. Awesome. And now we have another division that we can actually use, which is good. Uh, we need less guns now. We still have a good, a relatively good amount of artillery. We definitely need some steel, though. And Paraguay can give us just a tiny bit of steel. We've got enough tungsten for now. If we take out Uruguay, we get at least a little bit more steel as well. Just, oh, Chile has... Chile? Chile has quite a bit of steel. I love that. I love it, love it, love it. We have radio detection. Happy 1938, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Uh, but nine divisions, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. All right, how many more hundreds of days do we have until we go to war with Paraguay? Math is challenging at times, but over 100 days. Over 110 days. Another division. Good. These are not great divisions. Um, But, yeah, you know, whatever. These could be much worse. It could be like... My Mountaineers. My Mountaineers are really bad. Three battalions of Mountaineers? Look. No, 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 Actually, you have no initiative. The quicker it can reinforce into a battle, the quicker it gets its planning done. Huh. I would like to increase the amount of Mountaineers we have here. That would be a very good... They get a lot of initiative. Holy cow. Go ahead and do that. Yeah, that does hurt our stockpile of guns, but these guys are already in the field, so whatever. And train just a little bit, too. Just a little bit. I want a little bit more veterans here. It's not like we're going to go to war anytime soon, anyway, so... Oh, good. We're back to becoming regulars. Regular ones. And that's exactly why I wanted to train them. And stop wasting my equipment now. Good. 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 Anything else for the light cruisers? Because I'm probably going to be using these light cruisers up until the end of the game... If there's nothing else... Here. Oh, the yeah, op turreted secondary battery. After that is completed, though, then we'll be okay. Cool. Even more military factories. Uh, military factories... I think we might be okay now. Yeah, we're even making fighters again. 
<clears throat> now we're out of steel, which isn't ideal. So I don't mind trading him it away to... Let's help, let's help out Australia, because why not? We can send stuff to Europe, but... Nah, nah. Civilian factories, nuclear committee. I would love to have another research slot since we have five now. But we need 50 factories, and that's not going to happen anytime soon. Oh, immigrant wave. I really want that immigrant wave. More population is good, good, good. Naval reform is good to do. Army reform might be really good to do, though, right now. An external military advisors or national military academy. Hmm... Screw it, we're not doing that. Let's do industrial census. An economy can't be tuned if there's no knowledge. As regards how developed the industry is, a census must be undertaken when this happens. So I can start building civilian factories faster, faster, and faster. And I... Oh, the Polish-Romanian alliance. Fuel refining, very nice. We're doing that. Let's help out our infantry. Let's see, more defense and breakthrough, or soft attack. Let's get more breakthrough. I, I love breakthrough. Uh, what's going on over here? Polish Republic. Jesse Axis. Just Axis things. Uh, oh. Okay. Guaranteeing... Wait. The Polish Republic is guaranteeing the independence of France. Um. Alright. Alright. And they did go with monarchy with the Bonapartists. Military society. Legacy of the Grand Armée. Let's see how far they go down this path. Uh. Garo plan. Germany is still doing German stuff. Air superiority, very nice, very nice. Let's get some of that soft attack now for ammunition 38. Ah, oh, look at that stability, it's going up. I love it. Institute press censorship. I love censorship. Hmm. To get to partial mobilization, we need more than 25% war support. Is there any way for me to get more war support right now? Brinkmanship isn't bad. You get less generate war gold tension limit, which could be kind of useful. Ideological struggle, of course. That's pretty good. Anything here? Communism, smooth talker, political power gain. That's not worth it right now. Prince of Terror. Eh, eh. That's kind of all. Eh. Anything for war propaganda. We need more than 50% world tension. So we're kind of out of luck when it comes to war support. For this, yeah, we need more than 25% war support. If I go to war in an offensive war, we can't do very much. I might as well just stay here 10%. Basically, you get a 20% speed boost to building factories. And you can get more fuel, which is nice. Ideological struggle. More daily political power cost. Hmm. Do you want to go to war as fast as possible? Oh, less strikes. I like the less strikes. Um, you know what? If we're going to go on offense, that's ah, good. Just do, go with offense. Why not? All right. Doing very well on most of our stuff here. Very good. Wait. Come on. Uh-oh. Looks like someone just anschlossed, anschlossed Austria after a successful coup d'etat by the local Nazi party in Vienna. German troops have crossed the Austrian border and taken control of the country. We've never seen that happen before, guys. Never before. Uh, combine the SS and Gestapo. Italy, stab in the back. France, Alpine Forts, Spanish state. Crate Instalaza. Oh. Oh, military factories. Support the heavy industry. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what Spain will do now. Since the... Since the... Uh, Falangists, or nationalists, or just Franco, won the Civil War. Um, yeah. Join Italy. Common front against Nazism. Una grande e libre. Join the Axis and Francoist neutrality. Hmm. Oh, they could have gone with King Juan or King Javier. That would have been kind of cool, but whatever. What is Yugoslavia doing? I think they went communist last time. Ooh, turreted secondary batteries. Good. And now I'm joined here by my cat. Binky. Senor. Binky. Ah, uh, let's get some better artillery. That'll be good. Uh, nice. It looks like I can finally re-upgrade these heavy cruisers. 
because we have enough naval XP. Rapid fire guns, light cruiser battery twos. You guys get that. Anti air, well, it's still garbage. You guys, rapid fire, light cruiser battery twos. That's garbage. Oh no. Secondary battery, that's okay with me. Are we doing radar stuff? We are not currently. Stop making that. Begin making this ship. In time, we'll get more ships that can do radar. 80% stability, nice. Very nice. Go ahead and let the sub stop training. Go home for now. Uh, do I have it? Oh, oh, well, okay. Hello, Grease. What are you doing? Oh, fighters. Increase you up to 100. Nice. Actually, both of you can probably come up here. Ah, another division. Very good. Awesome. Now we have 86,000 in the field. Industrial census for more civilian factories, which is good. Now, if I were to deploy these soldiers immediately, that is 8,800 8, plus 8,800. That's over 16,000. And right now, we have 86,000. So, there you go. These are really green divisions, and that's okay with me, because we can now claim Uruguay. Many of us see Uruguay as a part of Argentina, so maybe it's time that we uh, make it so. And we'll see what happens. Maybe this will be good, maybe this will not be good. Oh, Swaraj Swar movement makes gains in provincial elections. How much further do, until I can go to war with these guys? 30-ish uh, days. Let's go and train some of these bad boys, just because... I don't like seeing green divisions, but they'll start training, of course, once they get to their desired location. Where are you guys? It's taking a while to get to your location. That's okay. We're still mobilizing a little bit of manpower. Gotta love that manpower. Come on, get there and train, 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 train. Good. You're good now. Over here. Minus 10% modifier. I don't like that. Almost there. Oh, come on. You got one more level. These guys are getting their strength back, too, which is actually not too bad. 60%, 75%, 85%, 100%. And the Soviet Union already annexes Tanutuva. Tanu what? What? What is a Tanutuva? Ah. ah, there we go. We can go to war for San Pedro. Very good. Let's let all of our divisions get more and more of this stuff. Good. And we can now claim Uruguay. Uruguay occupation. We can get send them an ultimatum if we have 200,000 manpower. Hmm. Imports substitution. How about we start working on our land auction? Army reform. Our armies are on a shameful state on a shameful state, in a shameful state. If we ever have to fight, we should make a complete reform of our military structure. Amen. Now, this could be very dangerous. They're reforming their taxes, and the United States is doing Union Representation Act. They're becoming more and more communist. Hmm. 26% commie. A comfortable majority in Congress. Silver Legion protests. Oh, they're going to go into a civil war? Let's hope so. All right, well, let's see what happens. Uh, these guys are not very strong, which I like. Our guys aren't super strong as well, but that's okay. Let's see what happens. Is the U.S. in the war yet? No? Very good. Well, the plan is to just cut off most of Paraguay from these guys over here. Ah, support 38. Very good. Just in time for the war. Ooh, this stuff. I like this stuff, but do I have the means to do this? Engineer, Hills Defense. Yeah, yeah, we might as well. Losses so far, none. Ooh, we get up to an, maybe 11 factories when we're done with these guys. That'd be great. Awesome. Awesome. You come up here, too. I will send the mountaineers, though, to come over there. Good. Just surround Asuncion. 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 I don't know. And 1938 World Cup. Third edition of the tournament. 15 teams participated in a knock-style tournament. Switzerland upset Germany beating the Germans on penalties. Though the Swiss were knocked out in the next round by Hungary. 
Then, but the Hungary made it all the way to the finals, but were ultimately defeated by the Italians. They actually won? And then Brazil also defeated Sweden. Interesting. Now these guys are surrounded, which is good. Which means we can kill off these divisions as well. And since we have a claim on here, we could get a, an ultimatum. Oh no. Support the allies. I'm not liking what that says there. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to go to war with the allies. I denounce those ideals, which is good. Can we attack here and be successful? Oh, wait. What am I doing? What in the world am I doing? There you go. Now we should win. Or at, least, or at the very least, do okay. Um, even if they come over here, I'm kind of okay with that. They don't, we don't get surrounded, so... Uh, let's see... What else is around here? Ah, more radar, good. Computing machine, awesome. Let's get some decryption. Give them hell, boys, give them hell. Both of you might as well do that. Oh, and we defeated that unit. Pretty good, pretty good. We've lost a thousand versus two thousand. Not bad. God dang it! Ah, Uruguay joined the Allies. That means I have to go to war with the Allies in time. Ah, uh, that's not ideal. That's really not ideal. But whatever. What happens, happens. I'm not going to go to war with the Allies right now, though. The Allies are trying to continue to dismantle their empire. Well, you know, the UK. PSA Company, they have a war goal against Iran. 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 Oh, and there we go. At least we got Paraguay. At least we did something. Just just take him. Just take him. Um, hmm. That is a real bitch move, Uruguay. Democracy and socialism? What? Laborism? Hmm. Colorado hegemony. Do they have expansion ideas here for Uruguay? I don't think so, no. This looks more like a general a general kind of focus tree type of deal. If that's the case, so be it. Could we go to war with Bolivia? 79 divisions. Chile has 5 to 8. I'm thinking. Wait, Chile has go war goals against Peru. Huh. Well, we cancel the justification. What if we started to do a little bit of that? 210 days or Bolivia, which takes 210 days. I want to go with 210 days. Can't form the Latin Union yet, but by the end of the video, we will not be able to. By the end of this campaign, though, we will be able to. Good. Let's continue burning some of our stuff. You guys come right here. You do whatever you need to do. And by burning our stuff, I mean... Making your ships better. Our fuel's gonna go way down. Quit India movement. Yet another doomed attempt at freedom. And there goes the Mexican junta. I completely forgot that Mexico was killing itself. Well, at least that's okay for now. Do I have any other support companies? No. What is our current stockpile of supplies? Really good on guns. Holy cow. Artillery's okay. Actually, I want to boost our artillery production by a little bit more. Do that. I want to make more fighters. I want more support equipment as well. We need more resources. In which Chile will give us a tungsten, or at least a steel, that we actually really need. Right, Pink? Yeah, bud. Oh, and now, now we have interwar artillery after the war is over. Alright, well, whatever. Let's get some encryption now. That will help out quite a bit. Actually, what is their ship size? You okay, Pink? Come on, sit in the chair. Ah, 21. Wow. We do definitely have more divisions than them, which is good, which means we can just hopefully just move into a tile, cut them off, and, of course, have a good time with them. Next up... Oh! Partial mobilization. We need more war support, which we won't get, so just go with partial mobilization for now. We get way more fuel, which is great. Czechoslovakia issued partial mobilization. It won't end well. No, it will not. Following that... Hmm... I want radar. I'll put one thing of radar there, follow it up with... What if I built more infrastructure? We got some fuel, which is actually kind of nice. We need more steel as well. I don't mind getting more fuel. That's not bad. 
not bad whatsoever. At least, at least we expanded a little bit. Brazil, what is your current goals? CLT. Oh. Wow. Ah, army form. Nemo de Anquin, angered by Chilean posturing. Of course we are angered by Chilean posturing. Of course. Next up. Let's continue building ourselves up a little bit. Actually, I'm glad we saw the focus here. Just because we can still send the ultimatum and they could potentially still capitulate. That's good. We could get two more civilian factories by pissing off the UK. Let's not do that right now. <sighs> Nuclear committee. Import substitution, really. Our industry is lacking. If we want to stand up for ourselves, we must replace all the civilian imports we have. And I'm going to do that so that even though it says we should stop importing resources or goods, I need more civilian factories so I can input or import more goods. <laughs> oh, gotta love it. Fuel, how are the ships doing? Oh, mobile defense, very nice. These guys are doing okay. Go ahead and do that. That, mobile defense. Integrated support, of course, as always. 1.62 political power a day is very nice. Guns are good. Artillery needs to be better. Support equipment is coming along as well, which is reassuring. Ah, the Munich Agreement. And Czechoslovakia, you are not looking super hot right now. 10 combat width. I want to make my mountaineers a little bit stronger. They have quite a bit of an initiative, which I really, really like. What if I'd made... Just go ahead and do this, maybe. That's a lot of initiative. Holy cow. Go ahead and do that. That's fine. We don't have a ton of mountaineer divisions anyways. But they will definitely need to train up first. Promises of peace. I hate that one so much. You get weekly stability, but you get less weekly war support, which is no bueno. Oh, another division. Good. The Hispanic Alliance. New block of nations in the Western Hemisphere. Left-wing agitation, fourth international, and foreign interference alike will be defeated by forging a revanchist alliance of autocratic strongmen. Um, the allies, allies, okay, so that's just Mexico, for now. I'm actually okay with that. Now, since Mexico formed its, oh, they're fascist. Oh, yeah, no, they're authoritarian for now. If I go to war with Chile, they might join this Hispanic alliance. There's no guarantee that they will. There's no guarantee that they won't. I don't like that. I don't like that. I really don't, because I don't want to have to invade Mexico, because how the heck am I supposed to invade Mexico when I'm all the way down south in Argentine League? That makes no a sense. We can make some tanks, that would be cool, but I don't have the industry for it at the current moment. Uh, let's get some better bombers, so we can get some decryption. Good, good, good. Industry... You know what? Let's get some more fuel refining. We might need that in the future, so we might as well do that now. And now we have more encryption. Very good. Followed up with tanks. I love tanks so much. Recon. I love recon. We might need to do field hospitals. We might need to do logistic companies as well. I love recon so much. Um, 178 days. Yeah, might as well do that for now. Why not? We got five research slots. That's okay. Can someone else go to war somewhere here? I know Germany's been doing their... Th oh, that's right. Greece... They've actually pushed in maybe a little bit. Yeah, they actually did. Interesting. Let's see. I got a lot of manpower. Recovering from the War of Independence. Greece is has an absolute devotion to the monarchy. Demand the Dodecanese. Preparation of the state. Less manpower. 37 divisions. Turkey has roughly the same. And Iran has declared war on Iraq. Where have I seen this before? The Kingdom of Greece just joined the Socialist Middle Eastern Alliance. Okay, so the Sadabad Pact basically is at war with the Socialist MEA. Alright, well, yeah, okay, well, whatever, yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. Y'all do you. Next up, 1738. 150 days, that's good enough for me. Nice, import substitution. Iran is probably taking quite a few hits from doing this. These guys might not win, but if... I don't know. 
I like to see Greece do well. I hardly ever see them do very well. Um, next up, how much manpower do we have in our in the field right now? That's not nearly enough. We'll wait a little bit longer. Military factories would be good. Hmm. Civilian construction speed. With most of the countries of the world being affected by economic problems or war, we are now the biggest grain producer in the world. This will surely help us develop our economy. So we get a civilian factory, and we get better trade deal opinion, and a tiny, tiny bit better uh, production of civilian factories. Oh, oh, they're the French imp. Oh, look at that flag. Napoleon, new continental system. I've never played as France in the Road to 56. Oh, they create their own factions. They invite the Poles to this. Destroy Albion. I'm okay with that. That looks good. Yeah, go ahead and kill the Allies. Our natural borders. Crush Germany, Italian clams, Catalonian march. I invite Portugal. Still can't go to war economy, which is okay with me. Material designer. Infantry equipment. It's 1938. It will soon be 1939. Ship designer. Don't need that. Tank designer. No, not really using tanks right now. Smooth talker. This stuff is okay. It's not really worth it right now. Status of women. Hmm. Don't want to hurt my manpower. I love the ideological struggle, because you can go to war so much faster. Brinkmanship, but you can generate less war gold tension limit. Hmm. And then the world will be set on fire anyways. Division attack on core territory. What about this one? Justification for war order. I don't like... Losing stability. Let's just go ahead and choose this. Ideological struggle, because why not? We won't have a ton of stuff to choose with our political power anyway, so. Good, 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 good. Divisions, not bad. Uh, trade maybe... One more division of Mountaineers. Do that. Good. Not bad. Can I throw on some engineers? Uh, let's see, that will cost about 30 support equipment per division, which will ruin our current production of infantry, which we do not want to currently do. And how much longer do we have until we go to war with these guys? We have about 80-ish days, a little less than 80. I would love to see if Chile will go to war with Peru. Please, go to war with Peru and see what happens. I would love that very, very much. Ooh, Peru is actually fairly strong, at least compared to Chile. Hmm... Interesting. But regardless, Austra Australia seeks distance, of course, from the Commonwealth. So this will have large ramifications for the future. Men Jiang is looking pretty large-ish, larger than normal. But that's pretty much all the time that we have for today, guys. If you like the video, maybe leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link uh, below in the description. And I will see you all tomorrow as we will probably go to war with Chile. And I just spotted... Catholic, Mexico. Thanks for watching, and have a great, great day.